We're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference 2014 in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, and I've got the great pleasure of being joined by Mr. Shahab Mustafa Helmi, who is from Egypt, and he also uh, won the third prize in the Arabic Digital Content Competition launched in October 2010, which seeks to foster innovative ideas amongst the next generation of social entrepreneurs working to promote Arabic digital content. Shahab, thank you very much for being with us today. Uh, thank you. I'd like to start off by talking about uh, what you created. You created a Netnology, which is a web-based directory which uh, features interesting websites, e-tools, apps and e-services in Arabic and English. So can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, Netnology, uh, we focus on web apps, web online services to educate uh, internet users in the Arab world uh, how to utilize the internet, how to, to empower them by the internet and the capabilities the internet offers them. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Just how did the idea come about and can you describe it for us? Uh, before Netnology, we uh, organized uh, offline events. Uh, we uh, taught people uh, how to do advanced search, online advanced search, uh, uh, job search, uh, uh, e-learning. Uh, while we're doing these uh, events, we noticed that a few amount of people, a handful of people that uh, know about these tools before the event. So we thought, they always ask us what reference we can learn more about this tool and this tool. So there is not many references to help Arab users learn. Uh, not every Arab internet user are dual lingual. So for, uh, learning from English content is uh, cumbersome. They have to translate it, they have to read it, read it and educate themselves. It's troublesome. So we thought about why would, don't we do it? So I, I, it would be a good idea to make a place, where, a one place where everyone can go, learn about the tools, how to use it, how to empower themselves with it, and that's it. And so how far have you got so far, and what are your next steps? Well, we, are, we just launched it last February. Uh, we have been in uh, beta, we're currently running a beta. Uh, there's little bit of features we're offering right now, uh, just to get started. We have plans in the futures, very optimistic plans, hopefully. Uh, but uh, we started development this uh, summer 2013. Uh, currently, we are running uh, PETA is online. Uh, Arab digital content, according to recent figures, accounts for only 3% of all content on the internet. What, in your opinion, is the solution to change this? Well, the solution is uh, we need to educate people. They don't know about it. Most Arab users uh, aren't bilingual. So learning from English content, English uh, or other language, isn't uh, as easy. It's troublesome for them. So we need to educate people about how to use the internet. Uh, the utilities, the tools to create content on the internet are all in other languages, not many in Arabic. Most Arabic users also are focused on social internet, social media. So we need to uh, let them know the uh, internet is not only about social media. Uh, there is more to it. It can help you in every aspect of your life, in your job, your education, your uh, everyday life. Shahab, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you. And thank you for joining us.